morning. Welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm actually going to take a rest day today. Um, I wanted to show you guys a little chart that's actually that's on uh, Strava Premium. I believe it's called the Fitness and Freshness Chart. Without having it right in front of me, I'm not really sure. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> this chart's it, it's a little intimidating, a little confusing whenever you first look at it but it does give you some pretty good information. They just recently expanded it beyond cycling, so now it includes running and cycling, which is really handy for me because those are the two primary things that I do. I would actually say they're the only things that I do as far as fitness goes. But anyways, so this form or this chart will actually tell you what your fitness level is over a certain time period, whether or not you're improving your fitness or your um, fitness, is, fitness level is going down. And then it'll tell you whether or not you're fatigued. And how it does this is you have to be wearing a heart rate monitor on the activities that you do. Um, you can tag your activities uh, as events or races and it'll actually uh, pinpoint those on there which is kind of neat but the ideal goal for this chart to make sure that you're in perfect form which is another thing that's on there you see you'll see your form level for a race or an event or for whatever whatever you're training for is you want your fatigue level to be as low as possible uh, compared to your fitness level. So let's just say you have a fitness level of, I don't know, 90. You don't want your fatigue level to be 120. That means that your form would be a negative value. And when your form is a negative value, it means you're not ready for race day. You're, you're tired, your legs are gonna be heavy, your, your heart's not gonna be able to perform at the level that it needs to be uh, performing at uh, during a race. So this is where you wanna get that fatigue level down closer to fitness. Ideally, you want your fatigue to be below fitness. That way your form is a positive value. This is where tapering before an event would come into play. So you'll see on my chart, my fatigue is much higher than my fitness right now. And it's because I've been doing a lot of activities over the last couple of weeks. So ideally I should take some rest days. Now, do I really need to take truly days off or do I need to take it a little bit easier? That's where it gets a little bit tricky. You'll notice if you if you if I show you my chart tomorrow, my fatigue level will have dropped, but there's a possibility my fitness level dropped because I didn't do anything today. But since that's such a short duration, it's um, you're not going to see much movement on my fitness. But let's say I took a an entire week off without doing anything, you would see my fitness and my fatigue dropping pretty much the same rate. My fatigue might drop faster at first, but in the end, they're gonna drop about the exact same rate. So what you really wanna do is on, you wanna have like an off week. And on that off week, you want to do zone one to barely into zone two style workouts, keeping your heart rate relatively low but still getting in some, some exercise. This will keep your fitness from falling as fast, but your fatigue will drop really quick because you won't be pushing yourself super hard on that, on that week, but you're not letting yourself get stagnant. You're not, not just doing nothing. So let's take a look at my chart for, uh, for, for what I've got right now. And you can kind of see where my fitness level is, uh, where my fatigue is, and my form. It's not pretty, but this just shows that I need to have somewhat of an easy week. Okay, so here's what you'll see whenever you get to the fitness and freshness screen. 
you'll see your uh, fitness score is the first thing on the left. That score will go up as you uh, improve your fitness. Then next, you'll see your fatigue score. Your fatigue, you ideally want to be lower than your fitness. On there, you can see it's higher. You take your fitness and you subtract your fatigue and you get your form. You want this to be a positive number. When it's a negative number, that indicates that you should probably take a rest day or an easier week. Uh, you'll see little dots on the screen indicate races. And then you'll also see uh, today's uh, value. That is uh, your fitness and freshness chart that is offered to you in Strava Premium. It's a real useful tool if you want to uh, do several hard uh, workout weeks, um, but want to also be ready for race day or whatever you're preparing for. You can look at that chart and see a week or two in advance, you know, am I fatigued? Is my form a negative number or a positive number? Uh, more than likely, if you're two weeks out from an event, you're probably going to be in a, um, a negative state which is okay uh, because like I said earlier you can you can then start to taper and then by the time you get to your event that form should be positive uh, at least that's the that's the goal and whenever that's positive you're gonna be ready to go out and just uh, crush your run or your bike ride or whatever it is that you're that you're planning on doing so but yeah that's uh, that's a Strava Premium Fitness and Freshness chart. If you guys have questions about it, just uh, send me a comment. Um, you can reach me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Strava, Zwift. Um, and if you have any questions, like I said, just give me a shout. All right, I'll talk to you later. See you.